the Sorry, English language and literature department. Okay. I believe that everyone uh, has learned a lot of knowledge and gained various experiences. And of course, to graduate and to complete credits in English major, we have to take many required and optional courses. For us, every course is necessary. It's called uh, content, sorry, sorry. useful content, and, uh, which can be beneficial for our future. However, uh, we cannot explain to you all, all the courses we took, so we just choose some of them to share you how important it is and how we feel about it. Uh, the first course, the first course is <laughs> one of the required course in, in your freshman year, English drama. <laughs> this part is very important for because it gives students a, a, a strong foundation in, in the basics of standard no, English drama. And if we use English correctly, no, we, we won't have any problem in communication. And also, um, we can understand what is correct, what is incorrect in English writing. And also, this course begins with um, the part of speech, like now, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. It is very necessary for me because uh, after graduation, I will go back to Thailand and be a teacher. So, um, so I have to be accurate in using basic English. Otherwise, I cannot cannot teach uh, teach students correctly. And in this part, we use this textbook. I think this textbook is very versatile. It provides us a lot of examples and exercises, so we can understand more clearly in each unit. And by the way, the professor who teach this course, she is, she really works hard. Um, she prepared many teaching material like this PPT, PowerPoint, and scan the answer key for us. So, and she also answered student every question happily. So, <laughs> <laughs> so student feels feel free to ask her and exchange opinion with teacher. Next class we introduce uh, the author course, interesting course. Okay, so first I want to ask you guys to guess which country's lab it is. For those who have taken the course must be familiar with this lab, but I also want other uh, classmates to guess which country's lab it is. Can somebody help me to answer this question? Raise your hands! Maybe I'll give my own answer. So this is easy. You're gonna ask a half harder question. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, this is the map belongs to the British, and this is the course named British Culture. And um, I really want to uh, discuss this uh, courses because it uh, helps us to understand this culture from many different. Aspects and perspectives. It uh, lead us from uh, know their names, uh, from their corns, and also their top, their uh, topic of weather, their food, their government, and also their education and the types of housing. I think um, through this course, we have a more comprehensive understanding about this culture, and it and this course is really. Um, I want to say it's really expect. Is acceptable, um, and I still remember that when I had this course, before every time we had the classes, we all very excited and curious about what's going to talk about in this class, and we having a lot of fun during the course, and we also uh, made a lot of uh, foreign uh, students as friends in the class as well, so I think this was really, um, this is a good treasure for us and I also want to mention that uh, based, uh, because due to this course, it also inspired my determination to
go abroad. Although I、um, was really interested in culture、uh, about the Western world, but I think the course、uh, truly inspired me to move forward this step. Because before course, of,、uh, although I was curious, but I'm still、um, worried about a lot of things, and、uh, there's a lot of things that I. It can be said、uh, I'm still comfortable in the comfort zone that I used to be, but after this course, I truly want to、uh, move my step forward and to explore the world. And the next、uh, optional course that I want to、um, discuss is about the business English. But to be honest,、uh, the first time when I choose this course is because not I'm interested in business, but. Only for the credits, <laughs> yeah. But、uh, after I had the course, I found that I I still learn a lot from this course because it contains a lot of、uh, skills and abilities that we might be used for in the future. So、um, uh, so first we have a basic understanding about business, especially in its four、um, P element in marketing. Uh, from the product, from the price, the place, and also promotion. So we know how uh, the uh, business man and business woman to sell its product and how they how their、uh, process it uh, 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 ended. But I think what's more important in this course is the practice of presentation. I think.、Um, Although it's really tired for us to do presentation every week, but after the semester, I think this was really helpful for us because、uh, it helped us strengthen our ability of expression, and because we need to、uh, teach new knowledge for our classmates, so we need to study preview, and it. Uh, so during the presentation time, we can also reinforce our understanding about the new knowledge, and it also help us to develop the habit of self-study. Yeah, and I think self-study is really important、uh, nowadays, especially in this generation, because we are in a generation of information explosion. Uh, so I think self-study was really,、um, really important and also really、uh, basic for everybody. Because in the future, if we want to、um, do something, we must need to learn more. And the online resource nowadays is really convenient and helpful for us. So one of the online website that we use in this course is called the. Coursera. So this is a website that contains a lot of、uh, courses in different major and different、uh, fields. So and this course were all was all provided by the,、uh, a lot of famous universities. And after you take the course, you can also get credits. So I think that's really convenient for us in the future, especially for those who want to engage in advanced study. And also, somebody who wants to study more in their leisure time, because we、uh, might have、uh, work during the day, so we can use our leisure time like on the weekend or、uh, other time you have like holidays to、uh, make yourself better. Yeah. And next, and another course I took is American Literature, nineteenth century. Uh, we learned、uh, many story in in this class, but I like this one the most, so I will talk about it.、Uh, the story is Rip Van Winkle, written by Washington Irving.、Uh, Washington Irving is considered as the father of the American literature because his writing、uh, began shaping the、uh, American identities. So it leads to American dreams that American people wants to to build their own identities, and Washington Irving made it comes made it come true by writing this famous story. So P 
people know more about America. Um, in Rip Van Winkle, it's a story about a, a man who lived with his uh, acting wife and he really doesn't like her. <laughs> One day, he, he, was to, he went to the mountain and fell asleep for 20 years. And then, after, uh, came back to, after he came back to his village, he found that his wife died. <laughs> and he, he felt free. He felt free and can do whatever he wants. So this story back back out is about uh, is relevant to uh, that time Amer American Revolution. Uh, we, like the, the period before before Ripa Mingo went to the market is before the revolution happened and after twenty years he came back is about the uh, after revolution, so he feels free from his wife. It's like it's like American feels free from uh, being controlled by America. Uh, by 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 England. By England. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> by England. And this this story in Washington Irving used the differences um, between pre-revolutionary war and post-revolutionary war. Uh, to show the chance of life and the maintenance of some tradition. And so after, after learning this story, it helps me um, understand more history, geography, culture, and social change in the lens of the literature. And also it helps me um, in writing, critical thinking, and communication skill. And another cause is children's literature. We have a beloved uh, Alice Avengers in Wonderland. Yes. And Charles Bell. Yes. <laughs> the Avengers of Captain Underpants. Yes. <laughs> and Diary of the Wicked Do It Yourself book. Yes. Uh, this is the course I'm really hesitant to enroll because I don't like art and I'm very really bad at making handmade things. Uh, do you see this work? It means we have to create our own book. And that time I had to thank Ski, uh, one, one of my, our Thai friends who is in here this semester. She encouraged me to take this talk together. She said we can, we can um, help each other, we can pass it together, and uh, we can do it. And yes, I got the not notification that I might not pass the exam because my midterm exam score was terribly bad. <laughs> but I think to myself, I still can prove that I can. I try to improve myself as well as I can. So uh, I did my best in creating my own book, which can increase my score. And I was so proud to. I'm so proud to present it. Like I told you before, I don't like art, so I didn't directly draw my book, every book, but I used Photoshop as a tool to edit it. Like first I I draw outside and then take a picture and edit in in the Photoshop and then put the text in the in the center and after that print out. And with a new method of doing a book, I think maybe Tisha felt surprised and <laughs> saw my attention in producing uh, my own book. And after doing my best, the result came out better than I thought. I thought I passed the next exam. <laughs> and after that, uh, sometimes being forced to do something I don't like is not always that bad. It, um, I can learn how to adapt, how to show people what I have uh, to and what I have for or what I'm able to do. And this situation also taught me that not to look down on myself. You all to do not look down on yourself. Don't do not think you cannot because you can do everything you want if you believe in yourself. Like this quote.
there, uh, where there's a will, where there's a way. And Anna, and the last story I want to <laughs> to, to share, about, not about the cost, but it's the feeling about another thing I love and do it when I'm here. This is uh, playing volleyball. I think I'm so lucky in uh, to be in the ER department. This is the picture when we joined the freshman volleyball competition in the first year. This is me, me, Sherry, Lisa, Maxi, and Raph, we all. And it was so fun. We, we, we won the, in the first round. And it's a really great memory since uh, we don't have a chance to play together anymore because Ralph, Ralph and we all transferred to another school. And we don't have enough people to form a team. Anyway, thanks everyone giving me a chance to do what I like. And since we don't have a volleyball team in our department, when the competition between uh, between departments in the university or city play come, uh, I joined with the I joined the nursing department team, and in the last semester we won first place. Oh. What makes me happy the happy the most is also I play with nursing team, but everyone knows I'm from the English major, and it's like I'm a representative representative of our department, and I'm so proud that I can make everyone know that yeah, a student are awesome. And I also joined the varsity team when I was freshman. <coughs> Our team hadn't taken any place before until the last match. Um, Shenyun, but uh, we finally we took third place, and I was so happy. I having a I, I have a chance to hold a cup. <laughs> as as you can see, where there's a will, there's a way. If we continue trying hard. We will be successful in one day, so don't give up. So, uh, so <laughs> the next course is what we are having this semester. It's the debating course. I think based on the foundation of the previous years, um, we have more um, space to practice our logical and practical thinking. <laughs> and um, I think uh, during this course, everybody become more open-minded. That's what I feel during the course. And I think we can learn different ideas and effects from, uh, uh, from each other, from different people. And it also make us know that um, we, our, our thoughts and our knowledge currently is not com comprehensive. It's not everything that we realize. So it truly challenges the belief that we currently have. And it also stimulates us to learn more. Like we know mm, whatever truth you found, but there will be more than you realize uh, 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 right now. So. And I think debating is not only uh, uh, only for possibility, but the audience or the opposite side. But I think it's how your uh, statement is reliable. Like you need to give evidence, you need to give examples. So you need to try to make everybody uh, uh, agree with you. So that's what I think about debating. And for reporting, I think. Uh, now we are uh, talking about um, uh, the, 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 the topic that we're talking about in the report is not the issue that that's on the surface. I think it's deeply into our society, deeply into our life. So I think it truly helps us to think more comprehend, uh, more considerable and uh, to open our horizon and our life of students. Yeah, and uh, I want to say, uh, say that um, after we learn a, a little more during the course, I think we must be more confident about ourselves. So I encourage everybody, don't always behind of the platform, try
try to stand out and uh, express your ideas to the world, to, to us, because I still think there are some classmates they are shy to express their ideas in the course because I think everybody has different ideas and their ideas are also really worthy to share with, with us. Yeah. So now let's move on to our conclusion part. So there are three questions that we have for all of you. The first is, have you ever thought about how much progress you have made during these years? You can answer it in your mind. So uh, us, uh, we give our answer to you to share. Uh, for us, we think the, well, uh, the progress that we have made is how much we learn and how much we change about our concept. Like we change our concept of study. We, uh, we change the concept of uh, our uh, personalities maybe, and we become more mature, we become more confident, and we also, uh, and there are some sense of words, some sense of life also have been changed these years, yeah. And the second question is, looking back on the past few years of learning and growth, what do you think is the greatest harvest? For us, we all agree that the most great, uh, greatest harvest we have is our friendship. We have a really good friendship in the department and in the school. We taking up a uh, taking the course in our department, and besides, we also take the course out of the department. Yeah, so we make a lot of friends. We rub elbow with all kinds of person. Yeah, and I think this network can help us in the future one day definitely will help us because it's a really precious resource for us yeah and the and the last question what's the most unforgettable memory of college life i think this question might be different to uh, different people but for us we think the most unforgettable memory is because we all are having a course that we do not like at first, but we do uh, learn something from the course. And the moment where we achieve something that we thought we cannot is the most unforgettable memory for us because it's out of our expectation. Yeah, and, th and we think this is uh, why college life is so important for us and why college life will be such colorful. Yeah. And uh, last but not least, we have something to share everybody uh, uh, that we hope everybody can soar to the great heights and the courage to soar to the great heights is inside all of us. Just like the saying that why just share with us, um, there is a way 